And from there, um, we went back to our hotels to expect our flight back to Beijing. We got here very late at night. Um, because the bus had to go all the way to the Chengpen district. By the way, I found out it was a district in Beijing. It was just very far away from the city. And uh, we went the next day for our training, which really it was just the head guy telling us, make lesson plans for the rest of you. And this is your office, which was a classroom. Um, and <laughs> NSCS has been having a problem with keeping their facts straight this whole trip. That at this point, I'm just not surprised at any of the information because I told you previously it was 15, 18 year olds. And my students were from 12 at the youngest to 16 at the oldest. I don't even think I had a 16 year old. I know at another classroom there was a 16 or 17 year old. But yeah, the oldest child must have been 15. So yeah, um, that experience was great. I'm so glad I did it. Uh, I only had classes in the morning, 80 minutes total. It was from 8.30 to 10 with a 10 minute break right in the middle. And they were great. I'm really going to miss them all throughout the week. Um, I just basically winged it for the most part because when I did try to plan it, it didn't go to plan because I would think that the kids would like this certain activity or participate more, and they, <laughs> they did not at all. But I will have videos up of me teaching and pictures and such. But yeah, that was, that was a great experience. I really... I mean, I won't become a teacher or anything. I don't think it's for me. But the kids are great. They liked me genuinely. They, at the end, uh, Logan, my partner teacher, I was apparently the boss of them all, but we didn't really. I didn't really have an authoritative role. We just did our own thing. But Logan, he taught the afternoon class, and it was my same class. Had them write down uh, what character each teacher that they had represented. And they had about four or five teachers. It was me in the morning, then Daniel did one block of writing, then Logan, after Daniel, and after lunch, did the same 80 minutes, there was just lunch in between. Then it was Ian for another writing class, and Teresa for her video class. So they, for example, Ian was like Harry Potter, Logan was Beckham, like David Beckham. Teresa was the class mom. Daniel was Superman. And they said I was a uh, princess. They didn't really say princess to Logan. Logan told me that they, say, that they said daughter of a king. They didn't know how to say princess. But yeah. <laughs> um, they liked me, which was great. They all cried. We had our closing ceremony yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday, um, and it was so sad. My kids did really good, though. They spoke great English, they sang English, and one of my students won first place in the speech contest, which was awesome. Um, two or three of them got second place, and one or two, depends if the one I'm thinking of got second place or not. Um, got third place, so so it was great. Speech contest went great. But yeah, right now what's going on is that for seven days, starting tomorrow, August 5th until August 11th, I'm going to be in a host family teaching a student because of fear of swine flu. The BRS, Beijing Royal School, could not make a third session, so instead of us teaching, we're going to live with a random family. Of course, I had very strong concerns because normally for a host family, you would have to screen them for more than six months. Six months at least, you know? And I knew they didn't do that. It was, this was last minute and random, and I was very upset. And I know it would be a cultural experience for me, and I'm looking forward to that because I've been in a host family situation before in Japan. And I'm very excited, and I know I'll love the uh, kid who is a girl. Um, she's 15. Her father's a lawyer, and her mother's an IBM trainer. That, that was for Mr. Easton, IBM trainer. I'm excited to tell her that you used to work for IBM. But yeah, 
Um, but, I mean, my concerns are legitimate. And I'm sure everything will be fine. And if the 1% chance that something does happen, don't worry where I'm going, supposedly, because Wani has been looking up where everyone is going to stay, which is all spread out. No one's going to live in the same area. Um, is very near a subway stop, <laughs> so that's good. And um, but yeah, so I'm very near the center of Beijing, basically. So I'm gonna be at the international like Wu Hao apartment complex. So I mean, hopefully I have internet. But yeah, for seven days I'm gonna be tutoring this kid. So. My only fear is that they would actually make me teach her the whole day, which would be exhausting. And everyone knows how much of a teacher I'm not. But apparently I am, so I don't know. Um, I'm being contradictory. I'm just, this is me being nervous, but I, I'm excited and I can't wait. And I have now 10 days to go until I come back home bittersweet because I definitely miss American food at this point. Um, I had a cheeseburger last night. Me and the group went out for dinner. And Caesar salad and a uh, mocha espresso creme brulee. And I really want more cheeseburgers at this point. I, I am so sick of Chinese food. I love Chinese food. I'm sick of it at the same time. I don't want to see rice anymore. It's so bad because in my own culture, my parents are both Cuban, um, we eat rice like every day. So the fact that I'm sick of rice tells you something. But yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, the food will be better, I hope, because the food at this school was so bad that the students didn't even like it. I mean, think about it, Chinese cafeteria food. I know, bad. But yeah, um, hopefully I'll do at least one more video blog right before I leave. Uh, to the states in 11 or 10 days and that's it for now <laughs> wish me luck